five cute birds that have a dark side. First off, I want to say that this isn't going to be like my typical cute bird videos. Some parts of this video has a bit of dark stuff in it that some people may be sensitive to, so just keep that in mind. Why I'm doing this type of video is because Halloween is coming and I'm feeling the mood, so I wanted to delve into the dark side of our avian friends. Plus, I'm all for learning about the kinds of behaviors birds show. I will be uploading one more Halloween-themed video at the end of this month, so stay tuned for that one too. Here we go. Number 5. Reed Wobbler. I don't really consider this one dark, but thought it was still worth mentioning. Female reed wobblers are some highly jealous and competitive ladies. It's apparently common to find damaged eggs in wobbler nests. The culprit? Female wobblers. Apparently, they attack the eggs of their rivals, which was observed by biologists in Sweden. Why this happens is because a male wobbler sometimes has several females nesting in his territory. However, only the primary female whose eggs hatch first gets the help of the male in rearing her young. They are some ruthless ladies. Number 4. Grey Jays On the very first line of the Cornell Lab's All About Birds description of Grey Jays, they are described as deceptively cute. And they are right to say that, for this oversized chickadee lookalike has been seen preying on little birds we love, such as magnolia wobblers. Damn, no wonder my chickadees go nuts when a grey jay comes around. They really don't look like they could do such a thing, but apparently they do. Also, they often steal the eggs or nestlings of other birds. But now, before you go hating on the grey jay, remember this is nature, however much we don't like it. And they aren't the only birds and animals to do this either. Another dark side to these fluffy monsters can be seen from the fledglings. The dominant one, usually a male, will turn on his siblings he once cuddled closely with in the nest, driving them out of the natal territory to fend for themselves. Yikes. Number 3. Penguins. Such sweet birds, the tender love they give their young, and the seemingly loving relationships of the mates that are supposedly lifelong. These guys are the real deal. Right? Right? Well, not entirely. There is a dark side. For one, apparently, frequent cheating go on, but there is a much darker side than that. Such as kidnappings. Yep, you heard it. Kidnappings. Females who were unsuccessful with their eggs or chicks seek out any unattended babies for themselves. Often intense fights break out between these chickless females. Sometimes even the babies are killed in the process. Other times the chick may get away but then is stranded in the cold, sometimes dying as a result. And for the chicks that have been successfully kidnapped, they can be gone anywhere from minutes to days. Yeesh, disturbing. But I have to defend those females because they are driven by strong maternal instincts to brood a young. That's all I'm saying about that. There is more darkness, though. In fact, so dark that it was kept from the public for years because it was deemed too depraved. And honestly, there are parts to it that I don't feel comfortable mentioning, but if you are interested to read about it, I will leave a link in the description box below. Anyway, there is one part I will share. Male penguins have been observed mating with dead females. Yep. Makes you wonder about the other stuff I wouldn't mention, huh? Again, though, I'm going to have to defend them. It seems that the males that do this are the young and sexually inexperienced, so they don't really know what they are doing. But still, damn. Number 2. Shrikes. These guys have always reminded me of grey jays. Their large rounded head, overall size, and coloration. Definitely adorable. But as we know, these guys are predatory songbirds. Yep, songbirds. Although they aren't the loveliest of singers. These ruthless killers have a fashion of impaling their prey on sharp objects such as thorns or barbed wire. This feeding habit has earned them the nickname of butcher bird for its similarity to how a butcher hangs their meat out to dry. This isn't their dark side though, for that we need the great grey shrike who apparently mimics the calls of its prey to lure them in and kill them. It's also said that not all of the time do they eat the prey they kill, suggesting that they lure the prey in and kill them for fun. 
However, I don't know how much truth there is to that. After all, they are known to hoard away food for later feeding when they will be hungry. But still, just the mimicking of the calls of its prey to lure them in is creepy enough. Number 1. The Great Tit These guys are related to our adorable little chickadees, which is obvious just from looking at them. What horrific thing could these guys do that would merit them a number one spot on my list? Oh, I don't know. Eating the brains of live birds and hibernating bats, perhaps? Jeez, they are practically zombie birds. It's hard to imagine that these cute birds do that, but it's true. In Hungary, they were observed entering the caves of hibernating bats. Researchers said on hearing the calls of the bats, the birds flew slowly along the roof of the cliff where the bats were nestled. They then captured the bats who were slow to respond due to waking out of hibernation and began pecking at their heads until breaking through the skull to the brain. Other unsuspecting souls that have been targeted by these zombie-like birds were red poles. And I don't know how much truth there is to this, but I read that historical records have mention of these birds eating the flesh of hanged bodies. There is some good news, though. Once the birds were given sunflower seeds and bacon scraps, they stopped this gruesome behavior, which seems to suggest that they were doing it out of starvation, most likely because of a shortage of the food they need. Some pretty crazy stuff, huh? Know of any other cute birds that have a dark side? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to learn about more if there are any. And make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed, and also subscribe for future videos. Happy birding!